from traumatizing young children by breaking into the wrong house. Get up. <laughs> Where's we going? To an entire family's house being ransacked. These are four illegal house raids by corrupt cops gone terribly wrong. Disclaimer, all content in this video is for general educational purposes only. In 2019, Chicago police officers raided the Archie family's home, not just once, but three times in four months, leaving the family absolutely traumatized. Search for Chicago police! But the worst one was the second time around, when they forcefully entered the house when only three children were present in the absence of any adult. Right from the get-go, the police make no attempt to talk to the residents peacefully, absolutely terrifying the children. The officers then ask one of the kids to get up from the ground and follow them, refusing to answer any questions. Put your shoes on. Where's we going? Put your shoes on. Just go, we're going out front, right? First floor clear. When the oldest girl in the room lets the police know that she was on the phone with her friend, the officer immediately grabs her phone, asking her to hang up. Wait, I'm on the phone. I'm on the phone, my friend. Can I please? Right. Can I please? You're gonna have to hang up. For okay, okay, hand. I got it. I got it. I got it. Hang up. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Please. No, 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 no. Sandra, I'm gonna call you back. I'm gonna call you back. Okay? Sandra. Sandra! It's all right. Just hang up right now. All right? You're fine. Come on. The officers then take all the kids to one room, getting them to put their hands behind their backs. Say, hey, I'm right here. Hold your hands like your sister. At this point, you can clearly see just how terrified they are. It's okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. One of the girls even calls the cops out for having wrongfully broken down their door before. He doesn't live here. Who lives here? Who lives here? My mom, me, and well, us. What's your mom's name? Crystal Archie. Okay. Did y'all just break that door again? Yeah. Oh, like this happened before, right? Yeah, yeah she was here. One of the officers starts questioning the children about illegal substances, leading a little girl to try to convince them of their innocence. So you know exactly what we're talking about. Yes, y'all talking about weed, cocaine, anything. Yeah. So we stop selling out of here? We stop keeping it here? Who? Whoever keeps it here? We never, we never had it. If not your uncle, the guys, that, the guys that live upstairs? The guys that live upstairs? They haven't even been down here anymore. No? They haven't been down here no more? Your mom don't let them down here? Huh? Your mom don't let them down here no more? Yes, yeah, she do. Like, she let me and them down here, but, like, that's, that's it. After the incident, Crystal Archie went on the record to talk about how the officers kept on wrongfully raiding her home, violating her family's rights. The children are scared. My family is scared for us. Uh, everybody is worried about what is going to happen next. We have never had our homes raided before. Um, and these three raids all happened in the course of a few months. Um, officers constantly came back. Uh, there was no time to breathe in between. I could only I get the house together and they were back in my home again. Uh, we don't have anything to do with narcotics and sales. She also let everyone know that the police definitely did point their guns at the kids in an attempt to scare them when they were all alone. There were, they, they called them big guns, mom. They said they're big guns. They described them as being very long since then, the family has filed a lawsuit against the city and the police department. If you thought that was the worst it can get, let me tell you it's not even close. Because sometimes cops end up taking innocent lives in the middle of these botched raids. <laughs> but before that, in June of 2023, officers were dispatched about a burglary that took place during a party after receiving a very disturbing 911 call. Somebody just kicked my door in. What's your address? I'm at 30 <laughs> Street. Hey, hey, Please come now. I'm coming. I got officers on the way, okay? 
When the officers arrived on the scene, they had no idea that they'd gotten the wrong address. Coincidentally, the house they ended up at had the back door open. Back door, like just cracked open. Is there a way to get, just walk around there? No. You can't? Mm. Which corroborated information received in the call. Hey, day code, back door is open. The officers then made their way toward the house, trying to enter through the back door. I can't see you there, I'm going to go that side. Okay. That is when the homeowner's dogs sense a disturbance and launched at the police. And everything starts going wrong from there. So not only have the officers ended up at the wrong house, but one of them also shoots a poor dog who is only trying to protect its owner. Easy puppy. Easy puppy. Easy. Soon enough, the homeowner rushes out to a site that she never wanted to witness. I, I, I did that. I'm sorry. I, we got to call it as much. It's a Yeah, and the dog just came back after me. The police then try to explain what's just happened. We're 10 4 in the backyard for now. What, Taser deployed. On yeah, home. well, it was some, we got called that somebody was come breaking in and. And then, and it was just unknown, so that's why that's why that's why we were back here. The door's wide open, and it don't look good in our you know situation. That's why we're here. And the dog charged me, so I, I mean, I, I shot it. I the black one. I don't know where. You the, shot my dog. The the black one. The gun. Yeah, it's, it's still over there. The black dog's over here. Obviously, she doesn't take the news very well. Okay. You shot my dog with the gun. With a taser. Huh? Taser. Who? No, I shot it, bro. You shot him? I shot it. Is it? Hey, can we? Oh, my God. Supervisor coming? Yeah. All right. We got a supervisor coming, ma'am. The officers do step in and help the lady take her pet to the vet. Yeah, they're not coming out. The owner got to take it. You smell? Yeah. Thank you. But the poor pup eventually passes away from its injuries. As wrong as that is, sometimes cops do make honest mistakes, but is it really just a mistake when an innocent life is lost? This is Robert Dotson a man who was fatally shot in his own home during a wrongful raid. It's Wednesday night around 11.30 when three Farmington police officers are called to a home on Valley View Avenue for domestic violence. But for some reason, they go to the wrong house. It's April 2023 at around 11.30 p.m. when Farmington police officers are dispatched to handle a domestic violence report. They arrive at what they think is the right house and approach the door and announce themselves. <laughs> Another view of this video shows the police requesting address information from dispatch and discussing it amongst themselves. Is it 43 or 5308? Yeah, I think it might be 5308. Is this not 5308? That's what we're sitting right there, right? 108. Can you turn on the address? 5308 Valley View Avenue. Don't tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> a few seconds later, Dotson opens the door and immediately points a firearm at the officers. <laughs> and that's when things go terribly wrong. Hey. Hey. Shot fired! Shot fired! Yeah, you good? Yeah, I'm back, good. Back up, back up. Check yourself, check yourself. The officers immediately shoot at the suspect, who's dead on the spot. And then the waiting game begins. One down. 
Hey, he went down. That is when Dotson's wife enters the picture, shooting the officers with Dotson's gun, since she believed, quite reasonably, that their house was under attack. Please don't. Man! The officers return fire at the hysterical wife, but thankfully she sustains no injuries. 4115, we need units now. Bobby to police! Hey, hey somebody get the back. The police chief went on record to explain the entire ordeal as it happened confirming that his officers went to the wrong house. There was a cell phone call. Uh, cell phone calls are different than landlines where you know the exact address on a landline. It comes in with a confidence factor. I think it's, it's an unbelievable tragedy. Uh, it's unbelievable for the, for the family. Uh, he, he's got kids, a wife, and I can't imagine really what a horrific night that would be um, for the family. Kimberly Dotson then went on to file a lawsuit against the officers involved in the deadly shooting at the wrong house. Just like the Archie family, the Mendez family also had to go through a traumatizing experience that still haunts their children to this day. But you, you kick down doors of people that you, you're not it sure happens. if they're, they think you're scared my kids? This is the home of the Mendez family, one that's just about to be wrongfully raided under the supervision of Chicago police officer Joe Capello. It all started when the police received a call about drugs being sold in an apartment unit, but Capello failed to verify the address and ended up bursting into the wrong unit belonging to the Mendez family. Chicago police, I won! Chicago police, I won! Get out the crowd, get out the crowd, get out the crowd, get out the crowd, get out the crowd. Get out the crowd. Get the family is in complete shock when the police barge in and start yelling at them without any explanation at all. Grant's behind your back, buddy. Oh, you're good. You got anything on you? No, sir. I got a pocket knife. Yes, sir. Right here. <clears throat> The officers start handcuffing everyone in the house, including the young children, who are completely traumatized at this point. Mrs. Mendez tries to explain to the police that the warrant they have might just be for the family living in another unit and not them. I thought it was for maybe the people up there, the people down here. When you came like there with the flashlight, I called my husband. I didn't know what the hell was going on. Second floor, right? Yes. Who lives up there? Um, I don't, I don't know their name. It's a African American couple. But the officers refuse to listen. Is that because somebody called? No. The only reason why I'm asking is because... Why don't, why, why don't you just take a seat? Mm -hmm. we've, been oh, no, having, no. we've been having trouble... The only reason I put you in handcuffs is just to detain no, you. are not under arrest, okay? Just, just, just so you know. Sorry. We've been saying. having problems with the people downstairs, so I don't understand, like, our door getting kicked in and all this kind of stuff. We've never been in trouble with the law. Mrs. Mendez continues to ask the cops why they broke their doors down without being sure of the address, but the officers keep justifying their behavior and continue to ransack the house. But you, you kick down doors of people that you, you're not it sure happens. if they're, they think you're scaring my kids? Well, was a judge signed off on this, okay, said that we can do this. So yes, unfortunately, and it has that our does, name on it? it does happen. It has this address on it. She also stops her kids from giving the cops any kind of reaction, just to make sure that they all stay safe. I didn't know, I was just in a bedroom playing with my yeah, yeah, well, and I just heard a door was stopped. That's okay, I mean, we're not here for you guys, we're here because of this address. When the officers give Mrs. Mendez the warrant, she gets furious once she confirms the address. <laughs> Curtis Roberts, they live upstairs. They live upstairs. Why don't you just... Hi, baby. <laughs> the guy got the phone. That's the couple upstairs. He's on house arrest and all this other kind of bullshit. Body cam footage from one of the officers then confirms that they indeed had the wrong address. Dude, he gave us, he gave us the wrong apartment. He gave us the wrong apartment. 
He gave us the wrong apartment. He said up the stairs, it's the first door right there. He gave us the wrong apartment. Remember the pictures I gave you? I think it's upstairs. Years later, the Mendez family opened up about the incident and how it left a scar on them forever. Me and my brother, we were on our phones, well, tablets or phones, and next thing you know, we just hear the door bam, well, rammed down, I guess. Rammed it down? Yeah, it's not, my not like it, the door fell on the floor, but you know, like, broken. Next thing you know it, I look back and I just see the cops coming through our door. With guns? Yes, all like, Assault rifles, maybe like a few pistols, like like a holster right here. And they put those guns to your parents' faces? Yes, and us. And you too? Yeah. Thankfully, after all this, the officers in charge of the wrongful raid did face suspension for their behavior.